Hi, I'm Dave Cathy, the food dude. Recently, I decided I wanted to try my hand at making Thai curry. It's one of my favorite things to eat, but the problem is the ingredients, I'm not familiar with a lot of these. So I went to the one place I thought where they would have it, they'd have everything I need with the knowledge to help me decide what I should buy, and that is the Super Cow Win Market. Well, here's Ba Lung, who will tell us all about the ingredients in Masaman curry and how they work. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a Masaman curry and uh, the Masaman's curry is a little bit different from other different types of curry because Masaman curry has a lot of the different spices and nuts and things like that as opposed to uh, more of just the uh, just the curry uh, that you get in a red or a green curry. And so what we're going to uh, start off with is we've got some cumin seed here and um, that's going to go into uh, your Masaman curry. You've got black cardamom, uh, you've got coriander seed. Um, and some palm sugar, some uh, peanuts, and some cashews. Here we carry 30, 40 different varieties of fish sauces. And so uh, there's fish sauce from uh, Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines. And so depending on what type of recipe you're making, uh, will dictate which type, which variety or type of fish sauce that you're going to want to get to kind of match that particular recipe. And also, uh, the cost of the different fish sauces uh, will vary depending on how uh, more refined the fish sauce is. And so here, um, what we've got is we've got uh, different types. I, I pulled um, five of our most popular varieties of fish sauce. And since we're doing a, a Thai uh, dish, I thought I'd pull the two uh, fish sauce from Thailand. Uh, the Lucky Brand and the Tip Ross, these are the two fish sauces uh, that are uh, pre used predominantly in Thai cooking. And so most Thai restaurants will use these two. Okay. Um, uh, the squid brand here is what is most, um, we sell the most of. Uh, it's a relatively inexpensive, people use a lot of these fish sauces, these three here, mostly for stocks and things like that to cook with. Um, and so as you get up to the more expensive uh, varieties, and we're not talking about a whole lot here, we're right. talking about three to five dollars uh, for the premium variety. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit more refined. And so uh, when you get up here, typically people use this for uh, dipping sauces and things like that. The, the shrimp paste that we're going to use for this particular recipe is a dry shrimp paste. Um, and, and there's a little bit of wet layer of wax on top to kind of keep the smell down when it's not being used. There's different types of shrimp paste. And so depending on what type of dish you're making will dictate what type of shrimp paste that you're going to use. We've got some tamarind here. And so there's two different types of tamarind. There is a tamarind um, block. And this is how they used to do in the old days. And so what they did with the tamarind was that they, they uh, and tamarind, it comes in a pod, and so they took the pods out, took the seeds out, and then uh, mushed together uh, the, uh, into this block here, and this is the sour tamarind. And so what you would do is you would uh, take a pot of boiling water, um, and you would dilute this down and make a, 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 a broth almost uh, with this, and then strain the seeds and strain the pulp out of there, and then use the broth for tamarind. For uh, everybody else who doesn't have time, they make a, a concentrated tamarind that you can just ladle in a, a spoon or two into your uh, particular yeah. recipe. Very good. Um, and, and tamarind's kind of nice because it's got that little tang that you don't really know what it is <laughs> until you've had it. Um, and, and if you don't have Real. tamarind, you can also use lemon juice a, as a, a pinch. Has a, yeah. a little bit of tang, and then you can balance that with a, a little bit more palm sugar. Turmeric. Yes. Uh, again, uh, it's another spice, and turmeric will give you a, a little. Um, that, that gives that that yellowish orange yes. tint uh, in your curries. That, that's kind of what you see um, when you cook on there. And, and one thing on turmeric is that you can use the fresh one. I've got the fresh root here as well too. Yeah. But in the interest of time, I think uh, the powder would work best. And then when you're working with turmeric, make sure that you're using. Uh, you don't use any type of plastic wear on that because that's gonna uh, that's gonna stain your melamine <laughs> wares and, and anything that's plastic. So you want to use yeah. kind of like a a, a a china of some sort yeah. uh, when you're working with. Kaffir lime leaves are the leaves from uh, the kaffir lime tree, and it doesn't actually bear any fruit. And so typically, what happens is that uh, they will just take the leaves off of there, and you'll cut in a little chiffonade, and then put that into uh, your curry. Uh, and, and it's also used in tom yum soup. Lemongrass is uh, one of these herbs that uh, when, when you cook with it, what you want to do is, um, I think we talked earlier about you having a problem cutting it uh, with your knife. Well, what you want to do is you want to take the end of your knife before yeah. you start cutting and pound it to let, release the oils and to kind of mash up some of the fibers so that it's easier for you to cut. And then you can just uh, cut it uh, um, and, uh, and dice it up or you can throw it in the food processor. Yeah. That's an easy way to, of, of yeah. getting it done. Or uh, if, if you're uh, strapped for time, you can also get the frozen variety that's already uh, shredded and ready to use. This is the way I like to make curry. Uh, this is just way too much work for me. And so in my busy schedule, um, uh, we sell different varieties of curry paste. 
And what you can do is it comes already in a paste like this. Uh -huh. What I like to do is whatever protein you're using, I like to rub the curry paste on the protein uh -huh. and then brown my meats with that and then put my chicken stock in it um, to make the curry and then add all the different vegetables. <laughs> and I can have it done in half the time and, and be enjoying a beer outside while you're slaving away. <laughs>